And welcome back to Mike Ferry TV. It is Mike Ferry speaking to you today. It is the week of August 26th. Boy, the dog days of August have gone by quickly. You know, it's interesting. We're actually on week 21 of the Mike Ferry sales system. It's taken us 24 weeks because we added a few things in between, as you probably noticed. And I have to tell you, you know, when I brought up a couple weeks ago that our viewership as we went further into this started to become less and less, it immediately started to pick up because of what I said. Now, I don't know why that happens, but guess what? These are the critical building blocks that make the foundation of a successful business and a successful career. You can't get around it. And I know in real estate, everybody wants to find the easy way. They want to find a path of least resistance. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to have to deal with the reality of what being a salesperson is all about. But guess what? It's all part of this foundation that we've been working on virtually for the last 20 some weeks. And we'll continue through the end and then we're gonna start a new series for you. So today's topic is one that we hate, we don't like, we dislike, we avoid, we try not to get involved in. And only 5% of the people in real estate, in fact 5% of the people in the world ever use the advice we're gonna talk about next, which is goal setting and personal motivation. Well, if we look at the word motivation, I've said it time and time again, motivation, motive to action. Motive to action, motivation. Which means then, if we don't have a motive, we can't take action. We, why do people sit around and not do anything? They're lacking motivation. They don't have any great thing out there that says, I gotta go get that. I have to go accomplish that. I have to do that. To get to this point and this point in my life, I have to do these three things now. I am excited about my motivation to action, which is in essence now goal setting. So I've written down a, a number of points with you, and I, I want to start with this. In our personal life, there are five areas that we should be setting goals in. Physical, obviously taking care of ourselves. Mental, spiritual, and what you believe in there. Family and money. And what I'm going to ask of you is to take a look at those words, physical, mental, spiritual, family, and money, and to go through an exercise, which most people will never do. Now, Earl Nightingale said many, many, many years ago, 1956, that the biggest problem with mankind is not achieving the goals they set. The problem with mankind was setting goals. We, we just can't get people to sit down with a pen and paper and say, I would like to accomplish this. I would like to do that. And if we think about it, if we said to you, okay, let's write down one simple goal you'd like to accomplish in the physical part of your life. You wanna lose five pounds? You wanna start working out? They said, one, one goal you'd like to achieve. And then we said, okay, how about on a mental side? What's one thing you'd like to achieve? I'd like to read one book a month, as an example. I wanna take a 15 minute mindset break each day. Spiritually, what would you like to accomplish? One sentence. Family, what would you like to accomplish? One sentence. Monetarily, what would you like to accomplish? See, if we can get you to write one sentence, one goal that you'd like to accomplish and look at, you're starting to build the foundation for the goal setting, which makes all the difference in the world to what happens in your life long term. So I tell people all the time, if we sit down and take a piece of paper and we make three columns, column one, things I would like to do, Column two, things I would like to have. Column three, places I would like to go. And why don't you and your spouse sit down and just start brainstorming. What are some of the things we'd like to do? Well, we've never done this, I would love to do that, I'd love to do this. Things I'd like to have. Well, I'd like to upgrade our home and I'd like to refurbish it or I'd like to put an ad on or I'd like to buy a new home or, or I'd like to have a new car. Places I'd like to go. Gee, I've always wanted to go to Yosemite. I've always wanted to see New York City. I've always wanted to go to the Mardi Gras. See, if you start writing down the things you'd like to have, things you'd like to do, and places you'd like to go, it's only a matter of time before some of those things start to formulate in your mind. Can't ever formulate these thoughts in your mind until you write them down. So physically, mentally, spiritually, family and business and things I'd like to have, things I'd like to do, place I'd like to go, and to trigger in you something that you would like to accomplish where you have to set a goal and then you get up motivated to go and accomplish it. 
So let's not do things like this. Let's not write down, well, I normally do 10 deals a year. I'd like to do 200 next year. That's not a goal. That, that's called unrealistic. That's called stupidity. Watch, realistic goals, things you can accomplish, the stepping stones you're gonna take to get there. We're gonna talk about the plan on goal setting in a few minutes. So I always say to people, it sounds good to have a well-balanced life, doesn't it? You know, I've got a goal for my family, I've got a goal for my money, and I've got a goal physically. But you know, the people that achieve the most are usually somewhat unbal unbalanced. Now, why? When you put all your energy and effort into achieving something, other things are going to suffer. So if you say to yourself, I want to earn a million dollars a year, you're probably going to spend a little bit more time working than you want. So you have to say to yourself, am I going to sacrifice physically staying in shape? Am I going to sacrifice some of the time I spend with my family? And sit down and plan not only what you're going to do, but the sacrifices you have to make. Share your goals with your family, share them with your broker, share them with your manager, share them with your mastermind group, share your goals with your accountability partners, your role play partners, because see, when you show them the benefits of what's going to happen to them by helping you achieve the goals you've set, believe me, a lot more things are going to happen in your life that are positive. You know, I'm looking right down at a great quote from Earl Nightingale who said, remember, you become what you think about. Therefore, if you think about your goals all day long, every day, there's a pretty good chance some of those things you've written down are going to happen. Well, my, one time I wrote down a goal and it didn't happen. Well, okay, does that mean you stop? Does that mean you quit? I, I would say to you, most of the top producers that we work with, and there's thousands of them, will tell you that if they reach 90% of the goals they've set, they feel like it's an incredible year for them. Just because you wrote down a goal doesn't mean it's going to happen. You write down the goal to start the process. So let's look at the process. So I wrote down, try the following goal setting system for yourself. Decide on the things you would really like to have in your life. What are those things you'd like to really have? Things I'd like to do, things I'd like to have, place I'd like to go, physical, mental, spiritual, family, and money. What are those things you'd like to have? Decide on one. Then write down what it is you'd like to have. Put it in writing. Because once it goes into writing, it changes the whole look and how you're going to appreciate what you accomplish. Make a list of all the obstacles that are going to get in the way, but make a list of the solutions. Well, if I'm going to accomplish this, I have to change that. But here's how I'm going to do that. Look at the solutions. Set deadlines. I'd like to do this by August 30th. I'd like to do this by November 1st. I want to do this by January 1st, 2014. Put action items in logical order. Well, Mike, I, my biggest goal is I want to lose 10 pounds in the, in the next three to four months. Well, then you probably have to have some action items. For example, maybe start a little exercise program. Start reading about some of the foods you should be eating and why they're harmful and or beneficial to you. Action items. Visualize your goals every day. I, I tell people all the time, get a dream book. Cut out the pictures of all the things you want to accomplish. Look at them all the time. Get excited about them. And then be persistent. Don't quit because you had a bad day. Now, I, I want to say to you, there is incredible power if you'll take a pen and each day just rewrite the goals you've set. There's tremendous power in reading and writing your goals every day and every week. Why? Because, see, if it's true, you become what you think about and you keep putting into your head all these positive thoughts of what you're trying to accomplish, guess what? You're only reaffirming everything. And let's go back to the conversation about mindset. Aren't you then adding strength to your mindset? Aren't you adding strength to the word attitude, approach, and expectations? Well, I've said for many, many years, the most overused words in life when you talk about success are goal setting and motivation. And I know that in some of your cases, this conversation is meaningless, which is too bad. But for the handful of you that take the time to write down the things you want to accomplish and do, and write a plan to make it happen, and put time deadlines on it, and put some action steps in place, and look at the problems and solutions, guess what? Today is going to be the first day of the rest of your incredible life. And I'm glad we had a chance to talk about it today as part of the Mike Ferry sales system. By the way, are you coming down to Miami in October? It's not too late to get registered. 
as I said last week, we're going to have thousands of the best people in the nation all coming together for four days. Watch four days. Mindset, motivation, skills, and action. Four days, I'm going to talk about what does it take to become the best listing agent in North America. You can do that. And what is it going to take for you to take advantage of the market we have today? You can do that. Well, if I don't see you there, I'll see you next week. Have a great week.